Maca's guides. <laughs> Hey everyone, Maka here. Welcome back. Sniper Elite 5 Mission 7 Secret Weapons. In this video, I'll take you through all 19 of the collectibles and the missable achievement for this uh, mission, which is called Road Rage. Right near the very beginning, you'll walk forward and the map will kind of open up in front of you. Directly across from you, there will be this person on a motorbike. And you can just take out your binoculars to mark them, but they're going to have a classified document on them. I'd highly recommend getting this right away as they might get back on the bike and leave if you don't do it within the first few minutes you have a while but make sure you grab the classified document once you do take them out and then we're actually going to start working on our road rage achievement slash trophy which is for destroying five unique vehicle types while in this mission i'll show you where you can find each vehicle type very very easily So obviously that first enemy we took out is going to be our first vehicle for the road rage achievement slash trophy and that's the motorbike. They'll be parked right in front of you right here on the map. Just take out your gun and shoot the tank in order to explode it. Once you do that, that's one out of the five vehicle types done. If we then make our way to the main road here, we're going to first go to the west into the base. Before you go and get onto the bridge and get across, you can actually go to the left side of the bridge while walking towards the objective. There is a small path that takes you down, and right next to a waterfall there is a cave. Here you'll be able to interact with some boards and dismantle them, and then once inside you'll be able to find the pistol workbench for the mission. Now, the next thing we're going to do is grab the next type of vehicle for Road Rage, and that is an armored car. There are a variety of different types of armored cars, including the regular armored car. I believe one is called the 222. One is called the Quebble Wagon, and the Quebble Wagon is what I have right in front of me. There's also a truck here, but I'm not going to count this truck as I'll show you a permanent spawn location for the truck. These two vehicles will stop in front of this kind of castle building every time and you can grab the armored car while you're here before heading inside. If you don't get the armored car here, don't worry, you will find an armored car very easily later on in the mission, so just keep playing and don't worry about it. Next up, we're actually gonna head into that base on the left-hand side, and here we'll find a couple more collectibles. Once inside of this base, watch out for the alarm and the enemies. There is a small metal bunker on the left side where you can grab a key if you want, but we're gonna head up into this tower by dismantling the wood that blocks this hole. You can also use a satchel charge to blow your way through the front door or find a key. There's a lot of different ways to get into this tower. Once you're in this tower, you might want a crowbar to do your actual uh, side objective here, but there's also a classified document at the very top. From this location, we can find our first Stone Eagle. The Stone Eagles in this mission are awful. They are so well hidden. So from that classified document, go down one level and then out the front door. If you take a left hand turn, get up in this corner and kind of look up the spire. Very well hidden, tucked away in this corner. You can barely see the Stone Eagle right here. So once you do spot that Stone Eagle, take it out. Next up, we're going to go for part three of Road Rage with the truck vehicle class. This includes cargo trucks, fuel trucks, troop trucks, and even normal trucks. And there's going to be a permanent one that spawns inside of the base. So take that out and we're done three out of five. For this one, I just planted a mine underneath it and then sniped the mine to blow it up. We've then moved north from that base into this kind of outpost area and inside of the tent there is an officer having a meeting. There's also a sniper that roams about and that sniper will have a repeat collectible from something we grabbed earlier already so you can take them out and get the collectible a second time if you want although it doesn't really count for anything. But inside of the tent near the water here you can find a classified document on the table. This brings us to our fourth vehicle type, which is the boat, and there is a gunboat that uh, roams around in a circle north of that tent we were just at. I would highly recommend waiting until the gunboat is closer to you. After you shoot it a few times, it'll stop, and then it becomes a lot harder to take out because of how far it is and the fact that it sometimes moves. But all we need to do to take out the gunboat is to shoot the four tanks at the very back 
of the boat itself. I would highly recommend using a high-powered sniper rifle here as mine was not that great and it took me a lot of ammo to take out, but once you shoot at least three of those tanks at the back, the gunboat should blow up. You'll get notified in the corner of the screen that you've taken it out with a vehicle destroyed sign and you are done for this. Next up, we have our first hidden item. I've began to travel east from that gunboat location. I came to this bridge that goes over a small little waterfall creek. But instead, I'm going to go to the right hand side, which allows me to cross through the water. And then underneath the bridge, there is a secret path that you can cut through if you have bolt cutters. But right underneath the bridge, you have a hidden item. Last but not least is the tank class and we'll need to destroy a tank to get the road rage achievement slash trophy and there are two tanks that are almost always parked right here alongside the road. There is a Panzerfaust in the little base on the right hand side of the road just before you reach this area and I would highly recommend also having a satchel charge that you can just plant at the back. Once you plant the satchel charge at the back of this large tank, it'll open up the back and then you can just take your sniper and shoot in the weak point in order to blow it up. Or I'm going to use my Panzerfaust to basically just shoot it and blow it up after the satchel charge. After I've taken care of the tank, that is all five vehicle classes, including motorbike, car, truck, boat and tank. If you didn't get the car earlier like I showed in the video, don't worry, you will find a car later on in this video, I guarantee it. This is a super long mission with a lot of bases. Either way, the achievement or trophy should unlock here. We've then went to the far eastern point of the map and there is a kind of train track here, a depot, and in this depot, there is a side mission where you have to take some photos and then you can send those photos in for reconnaissance. But in this depot on the left hand side, there's the actual train station and you can go inside and you can find the officer. He's usually upstairs, but for me, he ran downstairs because he heard my gunshots and you can find the office key on him when you loot him. So take that officer out who's in this building and then you'll have the key. You can go upstairs and find a personal letter inside of this office sitting right here on the desk. And additionally, now that we have the key, we can also open up the safe without wasting a satchel charge. And in here, you can find classified document number four. Tanks go from here to the weapons lab further ahead. Now, this mission was a nightmare because of the Stone Eagles. Just to the east of that train depot we were at, there's this random loop path that pretty much leads to nothing and exists for no sole reason other than to hide this Stone Eagle in probably the best spot in the game. It is perched on these rocks and blends in extremely well. You can do it with style like me by throwing a grenade, using your pistol, submachine gun, or rifle. But when you do, take it out, and that's going to be two out of three. Moving a little bit north from that stone eagle, we'll stumble upon this small base in the corner of the map where there is an abandoned house. I've taken out some of the enemies here, but inside of this abandoned house, there is a starting location that we can grab, but also a personal letter, which is more important for this video. What you'll want to do is climb up the drain pipe and then you'll be able to get onto the balcony. Use the window ledge to get onto the ledge on the upper half of the roof here. And then you can shimmy across to the balcony on the backside. Once you've shimmied across, you can drop down and then I believe you can pick a lock or use bolt cutters to get through this door. I'm going to have this like really weird glitch where my bolt cutters cut the thin air, but it still opens the door. And once you're inside, you will then be able to get the starting point location. But more importantly, go downstairs and find the personal letter near this kind of fireplace pit. I've then made it all the way to this kind of research facility that is near the giant dome. There's a secondary mission here where you're supposed to kind of investigate their fuel operations and whatnot. From the main floor, you can go inside, take the staircase at the back. Then on the second floor, you can find the weapons lab key, which will help us get into the weapons lab. But then just keep taking the stairs all the way to the very top level. You'll be able to do the side mission here by taking a picture of the rocket and interacting with Intel on the wall. But then once you're at the top of the stairs, take a left hand turn, continue following the hallway. Then you'll find the kind of side pocket office room. And if you enter that room using the key, there will be a classified document on the table, which is also necessary in order to complete this side objective. So this is where the V2 test data is 
We've then made our way into this kind of central point where all the roads kind of connect and there's this long pathway that leads into the dome. Once you reach here, there will be an enemy that has a key on them. They're not the only enemy with this key. I think like four or five enemies carry this key, but it's going to be a good officer to grab since we're going to have to take them out anyways. And this officer right here on the ground will have the production plant key that we'll need in order to get into the dome the easiest way possible, which is just going to be going up this ladder and then the next ladder. And then at the very top of both of the ladders, there will be the door. You can blast your way through or save that satchel charge for later, which I recommend. And once inside, you can find personal letter number three sitting on a chair inside of this kind of meeting room. I'm now inside of the dome on the lowest floor inside of the long corridor that leads to the rocket. Uh, if you can't find this, don't worry, just keep exploring. You'll have to come here as a part of the main mission to change some pressure valves. But at the very end of this long hall, there is like a ladder and an elevator, but there's this spiral staircase that you can start taking up. And eventually this will lead to a door. Go inside of this door and there will be a bunch of enemies here. One of them should have the master key. One of them should have the master dome key, which should open up this door that leads to the SMG workbench. Or you can find a satchel charge by going up one more floor and you'll find it in the large room above you. Additionally, very close to this workbench, you can also find hidden item number two, which is in one of the side rooms, very well hidden underneath a table here you'll actually have to prone underneath the table to get close enough to pick it up now if you climb that staircase we were just at all the way to the top you'll end up in the top of the dome not far from where the kraken meeting room is there will be an open door here that you can actually walk into if you take the path but from that staircase that leads in a spiral down to the bottom, you can take this staircase right next to it to go even higher into the main control room that's in the center. And in here, you can find personal letter number four before completing your objective. I've then navigated back to the lowest floor of the dome and exited through the natural entrance that leads from one cave to another. You'll see where I'm standing right here. And there's a small outdoor portion, but if you keep following it, there will be another indoor portion and you'll have to probably come here in order to close the hatch as a part of your main objective. But once inside here, some enemies, obviously, but to your left, there will be personal letter number five. From this personal letter, the rifle bench is very close by. Go past this rocket and you'll find what I believe is a Jaeger officer roaming this area. If you take them out, they should have a key on them. We can grab that key for the armory and the armory will be right in front of us. We can also blow open the door with a satchel charge if we still have some left, but go inside and find the rifle workbench, which will unlock some more equipment for you. Last but not least, I've completed all of the main missions and I'm ready for exfiltration in the top left corner of the map. Here's Stone Eagle number three, just as well hidden as the other two. You'll come to this kind of outpost where there is a bridge and an artillery cannon to our right hand side. If you stand here and count the little vents in the dam, I believe inside of the sixth vent, there is a uh, Stone Eagle. Mark it with your binoculars because it's a lot easier to find with your binoculars than it is your scope and then shoot it to take it out. And last but not least, we can find our final hidden item nearby. Just as you're entering on top of this dam bridge, you can go into the little booth on the left hand side and pick up hidden item number three. As always, I highly recommend making sure you have all 19 collectibles in the menu before exfiltrating. Thank you for watching. Drop a like. This video sucked to make, but I hope that a lot of people find it useful. Special thanks to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. Peace.